Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be all about holiday sets. It's gonna be a big one, we've got to have a game plan. So here's the deal, timestamps and links are in the description box below. We have five categories. F what am I doing with my hand? <laughs> Five categories for today's video. We are going to be covering fragrance, hair care, body care, skin care, and makeup. And here's the deal. I'm going to tell you about the first three categories, and then we are going to do a skin care and makeup routine with these sets. Now, you can jump to those if you hate intros, but I have some important announcements that I want to make sure to make in today's video. First of all, as the holiday season approaches, I want to take a moment to say something that I like to say every single year. You know, we are about to see incredible, very tempting deals on beauty products. It's a great time to shop if it's a great time to shop for you. If you find yourself going, oh, my budget's really tight right now. It's not actually a good time for me to shop. I wanna promise you, as somebody who has followed deals for years and years at this point, there will be more sales. I feel like there's a lot of FOMO on social media. Oh no, you don't wanna miss out, but let me tell you the other side of FOMO. You can also end up with too much, too much to use. There certainly is more than one reason why you might not want to shop a ton this upcoming holiday season. So I hope you can still enjoy this video and just kind of see it as, uh, you know, a fun way to live through a haul vicariously. Or you might be shopping for yourself or maybe for holiday gifts for others. And in that case, I hope this video is helpful for those of you in terms of figuring out what to purchase. One more thing, the giveaway is finally live. I finally have a giveaway up. It is over on my Instagram, hopefully so I can get more control on it. Hopefully. I, I hate the scammers. We've talked about this before. <laughs> I will go ahead and have everything linked below, affiliated when possible, if you would like to help support the channel. And without further ado, are you ready to get into this? I actually want to start with fragrance gift sets. I finally went for this purchase on the Alta website. I bought the Ariana Grande Greatest Hits Collection. And let me tell you, I am not disappointed. This is actually so up my alley. I am really happy with most of these. See, I feel like I had a bad intro to Ariana Grande. I bought Cloud because of all the Cloud hype, and I personally don't like it. I know many people do, but I think that that one might be a little polarizing. It smells like a dentist office to me. I know some people love it, but I, I don't. And then I bought a travel size of Thank You Next, Thank you, next is rough. <laughs> so I've been hearing about how good everything else is, and I just said, you know what, I'm gonna buy this. These two right here, the mods, are so nice. <laughs> this is not Reddit. <laughs> I really like REM also. I don't think I knew or heard much about this. This one also smells nice. Now I will tell you, after I went and bought this kit, they released Probably the only advent calendar that is actually tempting me from Western brands. <laughs> 12 of her fragrances, all in mini sizes, and I like minis, for 150. Frankie is in that one, the fragrance that is hard to get. Why do I know so much about Ariana Grande fragrances? This is, I'm always puzzled by the things my brain knows about and also what it doesn't. I probably would have got that if I didn't buy this one already because I don't have most of her fragrances. Now I do, now it's hard to justify. But I am happy with this. I am really happy I finally got the chance to see what the you know celebrity fragrance here hype was. Some celebrity fragrances are nice. You all know the original Britney Spears fragrances were amazing. Moving on to hair care, this was almost my Sephora VIB sale haul. So I did buy this in the VIB sale. This is the Viore Travel Size Shampoo and Conditioner Bar Set. I have been interested in this brand for a while and this was actually a pretty good deal. This was $30 before the discount and each one of these little travel sets usually retails for 15. Not bad. And I feel like you've probably heard about this brand, right? They sell these little shampoo bars, okay? Shampoo and conditioner bars. And the idea here is that it is much better for the planet. Now listen, I have a lot of guilt about my consumption. I hope that it is helpful for other people that I review products and 
hopefully do help to narrow down purchases but I'm over here living with guilt. So I thought it would be nice to go ahead and give these a try. Now I've tried the citrus scent so far, but I'll open up this one for you. This is Terrace Garden Floral Scent. So the shampoo bar has this design on it and it's round and the conditioner bar comes wrapped like this and it's square. It's so different to use these. It is so different. With the shampoo bar, you really rub it against your scalp. You know, you really, you really get a chance to cleanse your scalp. I actually am very impressed with the shampoo bar. I feel like I might have talked a lot about my hair type and how it's kind of tricky. It is uh, you know, fine, and so it just shows oil very quickly. You'll see that for my next holiday set purchase. <laughs> and so using these allows me to really get my scalp clean without pulling out a scalp scrub, which can kind of get a little, I I'm, I'm iffy on scalp scrubs because sometimes they weigh down my fine hair. They clean the scalp well, but they sometimes weigh my hair down. I really like the shampoo bar. And it smells amazing. Now the conditioner bar, I'm a little more iffy on it because it's a little harder to use. You take the bar just like with the shampoo, you're massaging it actually into your hair, not foaming it on your hands, but into your hair. So you have to take the conditioner bar and really rub it into your hair. It just kind of took a while. I'm willing to keep trying with the conditioner bar because I want to produce less waste. I would love to not continue to create a shampoo and conditioner bottle waste situation. So I love the idea, great, I, I'm actually really glad I bought this. And I'm gonna give the unscented one to a friend because personally, I do like a bit of scent in my shampoo and my conditioner. Skincare can get iffy, but in those categories, scent, scent me please. Here's something that I almost bought from Sephora, but thankfully I had a moment of clarity I bought the Living Proof Believe in Dry Shampoo set from Ulta because I had it in my Sephora cart and I went, you know, if I buy this from Ulta, I can probably get a better deal and probably some kind of gift with purchase. And lo and behold, I waited and that is exactly what happened. I buy a lot of uh, non-aerosol dry shampoo these days, but I have to admit, this is my favorite aerosol shampoo, dry shampoo. I do need dry shampoo because of the oily scalp, fine hair situation, and just nobody's ever done it as well as Living Proof. Actually, I rescinded that. There is one other dry shampoo I've really enjoyed. It's from uh, Vega, Vega More, however you say that company. I almost bought that as well, but waited. Ulta came through with the deal as they do. So yes, it is my personal belief system that if a brand is available at both Sephora and Ulta, don't buy it at Sephora because you'll be kicking yourself later. I would have been kicking myself so hard. Now for the body care section, and I want to once again reiterate what I said in, I believe, Monday's video. This is, in my personal opinion, some of the best gifts that you can give. This entire category, body care, it does not send a message. It is just nice, pleasant smells, pretty packaging in some cases. I do buy body care gifts, but I never share them on the channel because my friends and family are aware of the channel. Some of them even watch it. <laughs> so these were both gifted. I did get the Kopari Face and Body Wishlist Kit. I thought this was only going to be on the Kopari Direct website. The thing with Kopari's gift sets is they have exclusives on their website, and usually you can't find those incredible deals over on Ulta, but I saw this pop up on Ulta. This is $48 with a value of $92. I already broke into this kit for personal use because it came with a mini Body Bumps Be Gone scrub, and I've talked before about how this is the household's favorite scrub. We traveled over the weekend and it went with us. I didn't even know they had a mini size of this, but I was so happy to get it. I don't love the tripeptide lip cloud, just personally. I will just pass that one along because it's one of those products where I'm sure someone will like it. But I do love and just repurchased the Coconut Hydrating Body Wash. This smells so good, so nice. And the kit also comes with a full size of the Ultra Restore Body Butter, one of my absolute favorite body lotions in the world. It smells so good, and a little tiny bit of this goes such a long way. If you are looking for a gift that will actually make the recipient ooh and ah, I, I have to admit, this kit right here from Laura Mercier, the Stroke of Fortune Serum Body Cream Trio, 
This is one of the prettiest things I've received in a while. I really was over here opening this going, oh my gosh, this is so nice. It's kind of expensive, I will tell you that, but uh, wow, it, it's really nice. So you get, let me turn it around so you can read the, I guess I could have turned the bottles. <laughs> we had a long week over here. I don't know if anyone has recently experienced a long week. So you get three scents of this body lotion and all of them smell so nice. Uh, serum body cream, they're calling it. Almond coconut right here. Oh. oh my gosh, I love this scent so much. Ombre vanilla, I'm probably saying that wrong. That's not an O, that's an A. That one smells like you expect. It smells like amber and vanilla. Neroli here, let's see. If you do like Neroli, you will really like the Neroli scent. I, I feel like Neroli, I've come to discover, is a bit more of a polarizing scent. I personally really love this smell. It's such a good fresh smell. I guess that really is another benefit here. You're getting fresh, you're getting kind of more fall, winter cozy smells, and it's a nice lotion too. A little bit more lightweight, but you know, blends in beautifully. And these scents really linger. This is an amazing set. Again, I didn't even know Laura Mercier does body care. I know them as a makeup brand. I did not know about this, much less that they were this good at putting together just a real fancy, luxurious feeling holiday set. We are in the skincare holiday sets part of this video, and this is where I'm finally gonna start trying stuff on with you all today. So let me start by sharing with you what I bought. I did buy the Summer Fridays lip balm set in the Sephora sale. Ooh, it was hard to get. Why? Why are y'all so into these? No. We're gonna talk all about this. We're gonna talk about this in, in the last step of this routine. I also bought from Ulta the Peach Slices holiday set for this year. They did this last year as well. I really am excited for this set because this is a great value. This one was $27. It works with the non-prestige coupons. $46 value. Look at everything you get in this set. So first of all, this is a full size of the serum, which was one of my favorite products from this line. You get 1.69 fluid ounces of the cleanser, which we are gonna try on today. I've still never tried that, but that is a generous size of the cleanser. One ounce of the moisturizer. I don't think I've tried this either. One ounce of the jelly mask. And then finally, I feel like the smallest size in here is the snail toner, but I also admit the toner lasts a long time because it is a little bit more viscous. So this is all incredible sizes. And in PR, I got the Suwasu first trial set. And I have to admit, this was so much more generous of a kit than I thought it was going to be. And these are small earth sizes, but do you see this? The serum in here is one fluid ounce. That is a very generous size of a serum. It's a full size for those of us in the West. So if any of you have been curious about Suisu and you don't want to try, you know, the little mini sizes you can get on YesStyle or Stylevana, that is a great way to try out the brand. And then one more item. This was sent over by Anua, the 14 day skin transformation journey. One of my favorite products, the newly reformulated Peach 70 Niacin Serum. You know, when Anua first contacted me, they sent me this serum and I said, it's really nice, but I think that it would make more sense if it was fragrance free, since a lot of your line is fragrance free. And they replied back that that's what they were working on. So I knew this was coming. Very excited for that. 2% BHA Gentle Exfoliating Toner. Anua, Anua. Oh, I know you can do this well. I am so excited for that. And then Niacinamide and Tranexamic Acid 4% Serum. What? What? I love this. They sent over stickers so you can keep track of your products better in terms of when you opened them. That's so smart. I really should be doing that more often. This will make a perfect little routine over here this morning. So yes, we're gonna go back to the Snail Rescue Purifying Cleanser from Peach Slices. I gotta remove this little dot. I have been breaking out for the past few days. And this pimple has been so stubborn, so stubborn. I love so much that Peach Slices actually seals their products. And now as a, a K-beauty enthusiast, it is so strange for me to go back to Western products where nothing is sealed. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do what I always do with K-beauty cleansers. We'll foam this off. 
my hands and then apply it to my skin. Y'all made me realize I don't know if we have a standardized way of washing our face or what. Oh, it's foamy. It's a lot more foamy than I would have thought. Yeah, my Mary and May video, I, I was so confident when I posted that that everybody applies cleanser to dry skin. I thought that's what we do. Apparently it is not. <laughs> I feel like sometimes in life you realize that you thought everybody does a certain thing. Still, I have to admit to you all, I would much rather find out that I was wrong about the way everyone cleanses their face than the, uh, the Reddit poop knife story. <laughs> Why? Why can I not get off Reddit? This is actually a really nice cleanser. It has this light, pleasant smell to it, which I don't think I expected, but yeah, it smells nice. It kind of smells like a hotel bathroom. <laughs> I'm not rich, so by that I mean days in. I, I mean, she means days in, not a... Uh... Hilton? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's try out this Anua. Is this? Oh yes, it's in a pump. Okay, BHA 2% Gentle Exfoliating Toner. I guess I will not be able to give you the ingredients of this yet, but it does say tea tree extract at 1%, salicylic acid 1%, sorry, 2%, and six ceramides and hyaluronic acid. All right, no stinging. And let's definitely focus on where I'm breaking out. I feel like I'm breaking out because this past weekend we did travel. We went to help one of my friends move, which is, that's, that's a that's a two for one right there if you want to start breaking out and you have my skin. <laughs> Traveling makes me break out and moving makes me break out. <laughs> it's really just stress. Stress makes me break out. So yeah, I've been dealing with a few more breakouts than usual, but you know, we can get that under control. That's my deal. Sometimes I have people say, how do you still have acne and you know, you use all this skincare? Well, because I still have acne. <laughs> my skin is in such a better place than it used to be that I don't want to really spend a lot of time being negative about when I do break out. I'd rather think about how far I've come than, you know, not having perfect skin, which really nobody has anyway. Watch fewer people that use filters. Really though, you know, it does start to impact you at some point. I actually had to quit scrolling Instagram one night because I realized I, I was just scrolling Instagram for fun, I thought, and next thing I know I started feeling bad about how I look. Moving on to the newly reformulated Suisu First Care Activating Serum version 6. Now, I wanted to say something on this because I was reading the reviews and I saw some people saying that they don't like the new ingredients list of this. That's what this product looks like. Uh, I, I think I like it. I think I like the reformulation. I know that this type of ingredients list, it won't be for everybody and that's okay. All I can tell you is that if you are a Suisu enthusiast, I'm right there with you. And if this formula doesn't interest you, that's okay. You know, there's a ton of skincare on the market. There's enough skincare for everybody to find their perfect skincare. I'm just a skincare enthusiast. I'm not someone who feels like I have even remotely the place to tell you what you should do with your face. I just like sharing what I do with mine and what I find out and what I, that's the whole point of this channel. <laughs> this channel should be fun. I hope it is. On the topic of everyone doing skincare differently, I didn't technically go in the correct order here. The Suisu First Care is meant to be a first serum. And that's because it claims to help in the absorption of everything you apply afterward, and I very much believe it does. But I didn't want greater absorption of salicylic acid. Just the right amount, please, no more. <laughs> that's an exfoliant, and I have sensitive skin, so that's why I went in that order. A again, you know, skincare is about figuring out what works for you. Now to try the Anua 10% niacinamide and 4% tranexamic acid. Let's see how this goes. I always feel a little iffy on high levels of niacinamide, but I hear some people say that works really well for them. It might be more of how it's formulated for me. Let's see. We're just gonna use a small amount and spread it evenly. I don't detect any smell in this serum, which I think is good. I, I really think that it's like Beauty of Joseon and that new sunscreen. I think that People expect a brand to either be a fragrance brand or a fragrance-free brand, and I really think it is just smarter for brands to decide between those. I guess you could have a fragrance line. That might help 
if you want to have fragrance, but I just think as a whole, it's just going to be easier for people if they know what they're getting when they shop from your brand. So let's finish this up with the Peach Slices Snail Rescue All-in-One Oil-Free Moisturizer. Also has a seal. I hope this is a cream. Is it a gel? Oh, it's a gel cream. Not ideal for my skin type, but again, Peach Slices Snail, Snail Rescue line is really for oily and acne prone skin types and I meet half of those requirements. <laughs> so if you have oily skin, yeah, I can see this being actually a very nice moisturizer for you and for me, it's one where I'm gonna plow right through it. <laughs> Do you wanna watch our sunscreen application today? Some of you might. This is the Goodall Hotunia Cordata Calming Moisture Sun Cream. Stylevana asked me what products I would like to try and I told them some of your recommendations. So please keep those coming. Keep those coming. This was one of the highest recommendations. Manufactured for Clio. Goodall is Clio? Goodall is Clio? Oh, it is the packaging that I prefer. I hope this is very moisturizing because I kind of need it right now. <laughs> My skin feels a little dry still, just, just a little. So it has that initial white cast, but it is blending in nicely. Well, can we not go in my eye? Thank you. Wow, this is nice. I see why it was sold out for such a long period of time. I couldn't get my hands on it. Are you ready to talk about this Summer Fridays lip balm set? So, truth be told, I traveled with two out of the four of these. I have been traveling with vanilla beige and brown sugar. So I already pretty much know how I feel about these. We'll try a different one today. Let's try Poppy. Let's try Poppy. Let me tell you what Summer Fridays got right here. Well, actually it's less true with this one, but you can see we're actually getting some color with these. Some people really like to have a bit of color in their lip balms, but I think even more importantly than that, with brown sugar and vanilla beige, both of these, when you apply these to your lips, you almost feel like you are biting into a cookie. They got the scent, right they got the flavor right and you know again i think some brands overlook this right the inky list that is a big part of lip balm for a lot of people and frankly that is the strength of these they smell and taste so good i don't honestly think they're the most moisturizing lip balm i've ever tried i don't I don't hate the feel, it's nice, it's not sticky. But again, it just doesn't feel as moisturizing as some lip balms that I personally do prefer. So I'm glad I got this set. I'm glad I got to try out different flavors because yeah, I wouldn't have known with Poppy. It doesn't, you, you can skip on Poppy. I mean, unless you like the color. Oh, brown sugar is my favorite. So good and you actually get kind of a, a nice nude color from this. Yeah, they're very nice, but ultimately, I don't think they're the most moisturizing. They still, I, I understand why they're so popular. And now for our makeup holiday sets, which we are also trying on. I cannot believe how much I have here. I have a lot. So let me get this out of the way because we're not gonna try this today, but I am gonna sneak yet again that I am still working on a Sea Beauty project. And yes, I bought the whole Swan Ballet collection from Flower Nose. I also bought this year's Sephora Pro brush set, and I have used it. Uh, we'll probably end up using some of it today. I also bought from Spectrum the Sponge and Puff Trio for their from their Nightmare Before Christmas collection. You can't really see it. Let's, let's open it. We will definitely try this today. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It is so cute. And I got a bunch of PR from brands I didn't even know send me things, but I'm excited about it, very excited. From Laura Mercier, we have the Tools of the Trade brush collection. We will definitely try these today. This set is, whoa, this set is 95, but it says it has a $170 value. We'll see. We got some Buxom holiday sets, the Plumping Lip Kit. These are always so nice. I'm really excited for this. We are definitely trying on the Plumping Lip Kit. You get a lip liner and Buxom is really good at lip liners. And then the Plump Shot Collagen Infused Lip Serum. I actually really like that product. I do really like it. I think this is a different color. From Kaja, the Charmed Heart Set, and you actually saw me wear this set in Wednesday's video. So we'll see how much we need from that kit today. And from Bare Minerals, the Tiny Treasures Four Piece Makeup Kit, which seems to have, oh good, a mascara, a powder, a lip gloss, and I think that's the bronzer in there. Now you can see. 
So I just unboxed all of the Laura Mercier brushes, and I have to say, this is the five included. You get three eye brushes, including an eyeliner, and granted, they will be ideal for a basic eyeshadow look, so I guess we'll use the Kaja eyeshadow today. These two, it's so strange to see a fan powder brush. You just don't see this brush that often anymore. It's good for highlighter. This will probably be a nice cheek color brush. What is hard for me to digest right now is that this set right here was the same price as the Sephora Pro brush set. It's a little, it's a little hard for me to wrap my brain around. And we're gonna come back to the Sephora Pro brush set. Okay, so let's, let's start with the Kaja kit. It comes with Peach Madeline, which is a wonderful trio. See, there's my flower nose mirror right there. The crease brush is nice. These are a little bit bigger than I personally prefer for eyeshadow, but you know what? Laura Mercier is pretty known for their eyeshadow sticks, and I will say I think that both of these brushes for eyeshadow, oh, they'd be so good for blending out the eyeshadow sticks. And then the middle shade in this, did I show you what I used? That was the matte down here and then the middle shimmer. I think the all over eye brush will be perfect for this. Oh, <laughs> it's such a big brush. What well, is really fast to apply? I, I, think that's, I think that's the goal with these brushes. Do I see myself buying these? No, because I like to do much more involved eyeshadow looks, but not everyone does. One swipe and you're almost done with these brushes. <laughs> and we'll give the eyeliner brush a go. It's very large, but I'll try it with this uh, Judy Doll eyeliner gel I bought a while ago. I like eyeliner gel. I like this brush because it's so short. You actually get, <laughs> you get a lot of control from it. Now listen, as for the Sephora Pro brush set, this has been getting much more mixed reviews this year than it did last year, and I can kind of tell you why. I did notice when I received this that the brushes feel more different from the core line this year than they did the last year. So here's the regular 47 brush and here's the one in the kit. Do you see how they are so similar but the cut is almost a little different? There we go, now you can really see. So close, slightly different cut. I do think they feel the exact same. I'm ready to get some foundation on this face. I'm gonna be trying out the Rose Ink Soft Light Skin Smoothing Liquid Foundation. I think this will be perfect for the 47 brush in that kit. And this is a new release. Y'all, this shade is described as a light neutral olive. I just gave up on finding light neutral olives. See, I don't know, I feel like this brush, it, it's working just as well. Slightly different cut, it's working as well. And I paid, what, 66 for this set? I feel like Jack expanded a lot. Also, no further comment. I like to go over my foundation with a sponge just to blend everything in real nicely. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of a hard poof, to be honest with you. Mm, I do love new sponge smell. Yeah, it's hard. It's not most a hard sponge. Ah, uh, huh adorable, but kind of hard for my preferences. Well, that's, that's a little bit of a bummer. Gonna use my Kulfi concealer, which I actually really like this concealer. It's great. I've realized I actually like this one more than the Tower 28. The Tower 28 creases just a little bit too much on me. This one creases less on my skin type. I am very happy with the Sephora Pro brushes. Once again, another year of me saying I do absolutely think this kit is worth it. Uh, we're gonna set with powder now, and y'all, I opened up this Tiny Treasures Bare Minerals kit. It says it's 25 with a $61 value, and I was not believing that. The sizes on these are actually great. I don't know if it's showing on camera. Can you tell these are actually generous sizes? This is 0 0.07 ounces, so it's actually a really good travel size. I have not used Mineral Veil in so, so long. I'm kind of really excited to try it again. It's been years. And I'm gonna use the highlighter brush from the kit under my eyes because this is such a perfect size brush for that. It, you know, again, the complexion brushes, 
in this kit, I'm telling you, they are perfect. There is a reason I bought myself a second of these kits. <laughs> and then the 59 powder brush on the rest of my face. And because I have dry skin, I don't use a lot of powder. You really tap it off and then kind of dab the powder all over. Oh, bronzer can look so rough on me. I'm scared of the bronzer, but I, we'll, we'll try it. What's the old system of Bare Minerals? It was tap, swirl, right? I don't remember anymore. Some of you know, you know what I'm talking about. We do a lot of throwbacks on this channel, don't we? <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna grab the Pro Blush 93 for bronzer. Loose bronzer, y'all, loose bronzer, and I'm wearing a white sweater. Well, it's almost gray now. <laughs> when am I gonna stop buying black and white sweaters? They always end up gray. It's just that I wanna celebrate my French heritage. Wait, do I? Did France ever do anything sketchy? Oh, they probably did. Oh, that's why there's so much dust in the air. <laughs> My problem is I just feel like bronzer looks wrong on me. I just feel like it does. This was one of their best sellers too, right? But we also had that real era of bronzer and this is kind of a little, little reddish. I forgot to try the sponges from the Spectrum kit. I guess we could still try one of them with the cream or liquid blush. I don't know what we'll use yet today. Thanks to Joa, I just had some brows appear. We're going back to Kaja. I'm gonna use this product on my cheeks. It's actually one of my favorite cheek products. It's really nice. I do think one potential criticism of this set is that it might lean light or it's just really light products. I, you know, this is where I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Well, that worked well. I don't know how I feel about Jack yet, but this did work well. I forgot this, but it's probably nice. This is probably nice too. Mascara time. We are gonna try the Bare Minerals Maximist. Maxa Mist mascara, yes. Oh, the wand is gigantic. This is the biggest mascara wand I've ever seen in my life. Oh, she's volumizing. She is volumizing. That was a lot of mascara cleanup. Okay, we are on our last step. We have a choice of lip gloss here. Lots of lip gloss, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of lip gloss in this video, but you know I'm gonna go with the plumping lip kit. Oh, that's right, they changed this in the past year. I remember we talked about this in uh, the 21 Days of Beauty. Oh, that's really good pigment. Sorry, it's good pigment. Okay, now for the lip serum. It feels a little cold on my lips. Personally, I way prefer this to uh, the Too Faced lip stingers. I think they're called plumpers, but they're stingers. Oh, I love this. Oh, this brush is everything. It's very stiff. It made it so easy to get great control out of my lip liner. How did we come together today? Did I pull off the bronzer? I'm still unsure about the bronzer, but I always am. That's just, that, that's me. I'm always iffy on bronzer. Okay, some final thoughts on the sets. So I will say, I'm still iffy on bronzer because I'm me. The Laura Mercier brush set, it's nice, but it's for people who, we already had this whole conversation. So for me, again, the Sephora Pro brush kit, it's a winner again. I used every one of the complexion brushes today. The little Spectrum set, I like these. I like these a lot. I think I'll like this, I should say. But Jack, Jack, why are you so stiff? You gotta lighten up, man. This is a cute little set. This is actually a really nice little stocking stuffer. I, I like this a lot more than I thought I would and Buxom, Buxom never disappoints. I like their lip kits a lot. And the Kaja set is always really cute. I'll once again link my $10 off referral if you've never ordered Kaja through their website. That's the place to get it. Do not get Kaja at Sephora. Get it at either their website or YesStyle. And my friends, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it's not too long. I, I hope it was fun and enjoyable. Let me know if you've picked up any holiday sets. I think some of y'all did some damage in the Sephora VIB sale. How is everyone's thoughts after shopping that? I'm pleased, I'm pleased. I didn't spend a lot but I'm pleased. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all next time.